The average American now carries 23 extra pounds. Heart disease and stroke will claim the lives of 460,000 American women. We're talking about diabetes and hypertension and bone diseases, osteoporosis. 69 grams of fat. You could actually save 12 grams of the fat and half the calories if you simply ate an entire stick of butter. Food. It's central to our lives and traditions. Every special occasion seems to involve food and feasting. But could some of these same foods, including several that we think are good for our health, also be causing many of our most serious health problems? Indeed, we're facing a massive health crisis. No less than 40% of Americans today are obese. And about half of us are taking some form of prescription drug. Someone has to stand up and say that the answer isn't another pill. The answer is spinach. A growing number of researchers claim that if we eliminate or greatly reduce refined, processed, and animal-based foods, we can prevent, and in certain cases even reverse, several of our worst diseases. They say all we need to do is adopt a whole foods, plant-based diet. It sounds almost too simple to be true. The best way I felt to get this message, this powerful message of, of this diet and how it can prevent and even reverse disease was by feature film. We have these horrible diseases and yet at a time when we're so desperately looking for solutions to problems in our society, there's evidence that there is an answer. We took the tone we did in this film for a very important reason. We wanted to invite people into a discussion. We got these two world-class scientists, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn and Dr. Colin Campbell. You have Dr. Campbell, one of the top biochemists in the world from Cornell University, and Dr. Esselstyn from the Cleveland Clinic. The parallels in Dr. Campbell's and Dr. Esselstyn's life stories are extraordinary. They were both born a few months apart. They both grew up on farms. They both became very successful in traditional areas of their respective fields. On the one hand, I'm coming from the scientific route, getting some ideas. He's coming from the clinical route and doing some dramatic research. Here's the science, here's the clinical evidence. Put to do together, it's amazing. They both started out on the other side of this issue. And ultimately, around the same time, they came to the very same conclusion. You know, I know of nothing else in medicine that can come close to what a plant-based diet can do. And I don't care what it says on the front, the back, or the sides. Look at the Look ingredients, at the ingredients okay. and that's all I care about. In addition to the stories of Campbell and Esselstyn, we also interwove stories of patients to show the personal impact of this powerful science on people's lives. We really want to just get ordinary, regular people. And I think in Joey and Sandera, we have exactly that. I got two pills I take for my diabetes, cholesterol, high blood pressure. I take Bieta, which is an injectable medicine. And I'm cold and I'm sick and I'm fatigued and my stomach hurts and that's when they diagnosed me with hypertension and diabetes. I was in denial for a while. Those stories are really powerful because it provides undeniable real-time evidence that shows the effect of this diet on people. On my way over, I drank these two Red Bulls. I also had a 12-ounce Coke and another half of a 12-ounce Coke. It wasn't planned for me to be part of Forks Over Knives. I was going on a research trip to talk to the doctors that we were going to use to treat some of the patients in the film. I said, well, why don't you give me a checkup? We decided to shoot that just for fun. My cholesterol was extremely high, like 240. I'd never been that high before. And more frighteningly, I had a level of inflammation in my veins that said I was at risk for a heart attack. So that scared me. I decided to go on a whole foods plant food diet to see if we could reverse those conditions. I have five bypass, five. So myself and my wife went to see Dr. Esselstyn. One category of patients we had were the patients from Dr. Esselstyn's original study that had really advanced heart disease. I have had two heart attacks before I met Dr. Esselstyn. When I had the second heart attack, the doctor said, I should prepare for death. They were basically given up for dead by the doctors in some cases. Here they are 20 years later, just absolutely thriving. It gives you a complete picture that the diet works long term, it works short term, and you can't get better than that. The whole thing about Forks Over Knives is it's really a message of hope. The best way I felt to get this message out in an unfettered way was by feature film. That no one would be able to interfere with the message that I felt was important to get out there. To 
me, the take-home message of Forks Over Knives is that people can have control over their own health outcomes. At the end of the day, information is power. It allows people to have a degree of control over their own health outcomes that the traditional medical system just doesn't give people.